name's Jim Ewart. I'm the OQ manager for KS Energy Services. We work for Nycor Gas and People's Gas in the Illinois area. We've got branches throughout Wisconsin, Iowa, Ohio. What we're going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate how to properly prepare 2-inch PE for an Electrofusion 2 by half inch service tee. That would typically go to a residential home. All right? So first thing we need to do is we're going to start out by cleaning the PE. Of course, this would be in the ground, so it would be covered with dirt, et cetera, et cetera. So the important thing is to properly clean the PE to prepare it. So we're going to take our alcohol and spray it on the pipe. Then we will take our approved paper towels and we are going to clean the pipe where we're going to put the, prepare it and place the tea. All right, we've got that clean now. We're going to mark our stab marks for our service tea. One there, one here. And we're going to put squigglies across there because what this is going to do when we go to scrape our pipe when we see that these ink marks are gone that's telling us that we've removed enough of the oxidized material from the plastic so that we'll have a good fusion and that it will hold all right so we've got our stab marks our tea is going to go in between there. We got our squigglies. Now we're going to take the approved scraper. We're going to place that on our pipe. And we're just going to turn this. And remove the oxidized layer of plastic. See, it's just removing that fine layer. We remove our scraper, set that off to the side, remove our ribbon. Then we're going to inspect to make sure that we've removed our squigglies that we've installed on our pipe. We're all good on that. Now we have to reapply our stab marks. Take our service tee, move that. Take another clean paper towel, spray our alcohol on that. Then we're gonna clean the underside of that. Make sure that there's no dirt or contaminants on there. Slide it on. Center everything up. Then we're going to clamp that key in place. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get our fusion leads. Connect our leads. Turn on our fusion box. Now it's going to run through its cycle. All right, we press OK. Fusion data. It's giving me a Fusion time of 90 seconds. I know that that tea has to burn for 90 seconds. So I hit OK. It's asking me if I properly prepared the pipe, scraped it, all that, which I did. We'll hit OK. And now 
It's burning. It's melting it. That's gonna run for 90 seconds. It'll beep four times when it's done. And at that point in time, then we would disconnect our leads and mark down our fusion data on there. Okay, our fusion's complete, it tells us. So now we have to put our information down. Now we can remove our leads. And we're gonna wait for our clamp time to be up, which is the time that I wrote down. Then we can remove this clamp then from the tape. And of course, out in the field, we'd be connecting our service tubing up to the end of this T, and we fused everything together at one time.